And we found that hurricanes in the future will be more intense, so their wind speeds will increase. Uh, the rain rates will increase, so that increases the chance for devastating flooding. The really compelling change in all of those storms is that the amount of precipitation coming out of them increased quite substantially. We tend to think about the environment in which the hurricanes uh, move through, so the ocean temperatures being one of the most important ones because that's the fuel that uh, gives uh, essentially the energy to the hurricanes. So everything about a hurricane is captured by this computer simulation. And we applied those changes to the past weather. And so we are simulating real hurricanes that, you know, we have simulations of Hurricane Ivan moving up and striking the coast of Florida. But I think what's most interesting is the result that we found that the hurricanes will slow down in their forward speed. A hurricane that moves very slowly causes much greater damage than a hurricane that just zips through an area. And the obvious example right now is Harvey from last year. It sort of stalled out and just sat over Houston. And the amount of precipitation it dropped at any one time wasn't that big a deal, but it's the fact that it sat there and just inundated the city. Understanding how hurricanes change in the future uh, supports adaptation to these hugely and costly events. I think this just adds one more line of evidence that coastal communities in particular, and a lot of communities, have to be aware of the effects of climate change, plan for future flooding, plan for increases in flooding as they're designing infrastructure in their communities. so that in the coming years, or even in the coming decades, their structure can withstand the effects of hurricanes. So definitely they should be taking that into account.